Team coverage now moves to CBS 4's Gary Nelson. He's here now with more on how people in South Florida are reacting to the controversial announcement. Gary. Well, as President Trump appears to move U.S. Uh, posed uh, to move U.S. diplomatic offices to the divided and ancient city of Jerusalem, reaction locally is a combination of celebration and fear. Home to Jews, Christians, and Muslims, Jerusalem has long been the seat of Israeli state, but the United States has never had an embassy there. Jewish leaders say President Trump is making good on a longtime promise. It's the most logical thing. Every American president has said they will do it. None of them have done it. He is doing it. At Miami International Airport, passengers arriving on a flight from Israel applauded President Trump for what they view as courage. It should have been done uh, many years ago, and I don't think that uh, we have to be frightened because of the Muslims, because uh, what they, they are, I mean, this, they, we don't have to be intimidated. But some, like FIU historian Tudor Parfit, fear the president is inviting violence. There clearly are good reasons for doing it, uh, uh, but the timing is, uh, I think, catastrophic. What's going to happen is that there will be blood on the streets of the Middle East. People will be killed. Our Arab allies have cautioned the president against what could be a provocative move, one that could destroy any hopes of a Middle East peace, and they wonder, what's the end game? And I think the president will be hard-pressed to give us a logical explanation of, of what the goal is here. An explanation is due early this afternoon when the president addresses the nation and the world from the White House on his vision for the Mideast. Now, some think the president might take this as an opportunity to advance the peace process, perhaps establishing an embassy with the Israelis in West Jerusalem and a diplomatic mission of some sort with the Palestinians in the east of the city. In any event, we'll know about an hour from now. Lauren? Thank you. And of course, CBS News will break into programming with a special report with those president's remarks. It's set to get underway at one o'clock right here on CBS 4.